it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is the second Saturday of the month, which is when we do May I Scrap Lift You. So as some of you know, I purchased uh, the My Creative Scrapbooking Kit for three months to give it a try. So I really needed to dig into it. <laughs> and I decided that this would be the best way was to take some inspiration from the My Creative Scrapbook uh, design team. So this particular layout was done by Bel Melissa Vining, and she uses this dot paper, and I love this dot paper. And I knew that was probably one of the first pieces I wanted to use. So she uses it as a whole, but I really like this pink on the other side. So what I decided to do was to basically gut the dots, but then do it strategically enough where I could still use the other side as a border. Now, when you do that, it doesn't fit perfectly back in. So I went in my like loose pattern papers and found this kind of minty cardstock. It's a textured cardstock, I don't know from where. And so I'm just gonna put the smallest border on it just for a separation. And then I go to put it down and I actually glue it down off camera. Um, and I take a piece of pattern paper from a paper pad that I'm not going to use. And I use that actually as the backing. Now I did rough up uh, both inside papers. And then I pull this other paper out, which if you saw my unboxing, I was like, this paper just needs to be fringed. Like it has to be. So I knew I wanted to do that. So I'm going to start with that. So I do deviate from Melissa's uh, layout a bit, but there's tons of inspiration from it. So I love the idea of basically putting your, your photo and your embellishments all on the bottom of the page. So that is what I'm going to basically pull from this layout in addition to the background paper. So I took two strips and I fringed them. And then in the kit, it comes with this stencil and it circles with like a cross in between. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should use the stencil on top of the circles that are on the paper just to give them a little something extra. Now they're not the exact same size, but it's totally okay. It, it created what I feel like is a super fun effect so you get a little halo, plus you get the cross in the middle. So I did use four different um, distresses. Three of them are distress ink and one is distress oxide. So for the green, I used peeled paint. For the yellow, I used fossilized amber. For the blue, I used speckled egg. And the, all three of those are distress inks. Um, the Distress Oxide that I used kind of for that pinky corally color was actually my saltwater taffy, which, um, hello, I love this color. I got it for Christmas and I definitely haven't used it enough, but it is a super fun color. I really, really like it. So I am just putting those on randomly. There is really no rhyme or reason <laughs> to um, which ones I'm doing. I think that I don't choose to do two that are right next to each other. Oh, excuse me. Um, and not like the same color. I tried to do the same color around. Now you can see there are a couple over there that I just did on that right hand side that are going to get covered up by my photo. And that's okay. Um, I didn't quite know how big my lower portion was going to be. You can see in Melissa's, she's really only using 
half the page. Um, and now mind you, she didn't do the border. Um, whereas I'm pretty much covering um, probably three quarters of the page, I would say. So a little bit different. Um, she has a couple of the cut aparts on the sides and I think her photo is actually matted in one of the cut aparts. I went ahead and cut all of the tag paper down and I'm gonna pull three of those tags. I didn't do the cut apart to back my photo because my photo is a four by six, uh, which is probably twice as big as her photo. So there is that. And then um, I am gonna go through the die cuts. I cannot believe how much stuff you get in these kits. Like there are two full ephemera packs that you get in this kit, plus tons of papers. Like it is a jam packed kit. So I really didn't feel like I needed to hoard anything. So if I wanted to use it, I was going to use it. Um, and I definitely wanted to get kind of a florally cluster on that top right hand where um, you see her leafy bit. So I did start with the actual leafy bit that... Uh, Melissa had used, but I change it out for the one with the circles, which I think looks good. Add a floral, and then I'm going to do a floral cluster on the bottom of the photo, just like she did as well. Now, she went ahead and put her title on the bottom, which leaves a bunch of, I know we call it white space, <laughs> but there's nothing white about it. But it that space is kind of empty. You let the patterned paper kind of shine up there, which is gorgeous. I just felt like the bottom of my layout was getting very busy. And so I decided to put my title up there in the top. Now, I did feel like I needed something to back my photo. So when in doubt for me, I go to my trusty tissue paper, usually in uh, white, <laughs> and go ahead and back it. Now, sometimes when I use my tape runner on the tissue, it tears it. So this, uh, I know they call it tear tape, I think. Um, I don't know where it came from, actually. Um, but so I went ahead and just used the tear tape on the back of that. I went off screen and glued everything down. And in addition, I added the rest of my title. So my title says Lake Hair Snapshots. Um, so I did take a little selfie of me with my lake hair. Uh, you can see my double chin, but it's a little bit in the uh, in the shade. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to scrapbook it. Now, fun thing with those thickers. I think they're, I think they're the pink fresh little alphas. Um, of the eight letters that I use to spell out lake hair, only three of them are the actual letters. So the L I trimmed down from a D. The A is a V flipped over with a little um, like punctuation piece in the middle. The K is right. The E is actually a trimmed down B. The H is right. The next A is the same. The I is normal. And then the R is um, a trimmed down B. So... I've actually almost killed this set of letter stickers, um, but I really like it. It's it's like a puffy, and it it just is always kind of the the perfect the perfect blue. But I was pretty happy with my Frankensteining. I add just a, a couple of the chipboard pieces, a camera 
couple of word stickers and the word fun. And then in Melissa's layout, there is some black splatters. So I go ahead and grab my Heidi Swap Color Shine in black and do those splatters as well. So make sure you head over and you give her some love. I will have her link down below as well as everybody who is playing along with May I Scrap Lift You for this month. Now we do this every day in the month of May. So I'm gonna start asking if you would like me to scrap lift you, please leave a link to your Instagram down below so I can start making a list. And remember to wear your crown and we'll see you next month. Bye.